Hello you guys, this is Christina here. Um, this is another video follow-up for yesterday's video. I get a few comments about me being not detailed enough, not, you know, breaking down all the, um, on the, you know, smaller time frame. But I just want to state out that I do not look for very small time frame. I look at it when I want to trade it. But because I'm not trading it anymore, so I don't put any much effort on actually going real down like time frame uh, for you guys but because for the sake of content today uh, this video is gonna be about that so I'm gonna take like a few 10 minutes or so to actually break it down like really quick for you guys so that um, you know uh, you could you know study a little bit of it and uh, you know think about it as well okay so um, uh, before I start the analysis I just want to say Remember your loved one, don't always look at the charts, market will wait for you. It won't go anywhere, it is still there, okay? So make sure your life is all, all good, all good, everybody's all good. And you know, hopefully this video would uh, give you a little bit of information on what's going on uh, in the market, okay? So uh, because this one here, um, looks like a leading dino but at the same time it could be like a three wave down so I have a little bit theory uh, it could be this could be end up becoming a triangle like this okay and then the whole structure is gonna end up becoming like a B C okay it could end up becoming like this as well all right we're, we're ex uh, we, we did put I did put out a signal uh, yesterday saying that we're gonna try and short this market here just in case it want to do a expand a flat because that's the Bitcoin's favorite move which is an expand a flat it could really do something like this and you know end up this being a C wave like this some kind of ending diagonal like that and then this could be an ABC and we're gonna do an expand a flat it's a like a B complex just like this Okay, so I'm expecting uh, somewhere around here, target somewhere around here. That's why I put up a, uh, some kind of a short um, signal here and hopefully it does play out like this. I'm hopefully it play out like this because once it play out like this, then we will know that eventually the market's going to do a huge A, B, C. Okay, this is the most easiest way to trade market if it does this play and for sure we're gonna take the short right here because it's um high possibility that this might happen okay but you know uh but today this video we're gonna just do some kind of a quick breakdown and i want you to take a look at this uh, possible uh, the, that uh this could be the abc or wxy the x is being a triangle right here so i am expecting uh, some kind of sideways and then see how it goes but at the same time this is still on the play all right this is still on the play um um so how how do we actually uh, uh consider that this or that okay so um uh, usually, uh, I, I told you guys on the previous video, I believe that this is a leading diagonal. So whatever this is doing, right, um, I'm, I'm expecting another leg down uh, to equalize this. We need an equalizer towards this, okay? So basically, there's plenty of ways to trade the market. Um, usually, this is a no trade zone. Whatever happening right here, whatever happening right here, usually we do not trade it. Okay, but you know, I did somehow thought about it. Hey, maybe we should take the trade right here and wait for it to come down. It could, it could, it could just go sideways and make it down like that. It could just go sideways, make it. Up. It could, it could, anything could happen. So usually, um, if this, you know, particular sideways movement, usually I would recommend not trade it at all. Uh, because this is a no trade zone so when do we take the trade when do we trade the trade okay so usually I would recommend that if it comes out from the box we could take the long here if it goes out from the box we're gonna take the short here that's it that's my point of view all right 
So, and then there's this huge other box here. We're going to color it in different color. We're going to do it, um, go for um, red. Okay, so this box here is really important. Why? Um, if the market wants to remain bearish or bullish, it must leave this area. Okay, it must leave this box. And the candle has to close uh, down below. And it would do something like a retest or something like that to actually go down lower to, you know, uh, 15K. Okay, so again, this could be a no trade zone actually. Uh, still the, the same with this box inside here. But uh, in general speaking, I believe that if it breaks out from this box, whatever the direction is, we're going to do the opposite. If it goes up, we don't buy, okay? we sell. If it goes down, we don't sell, we buy. All right, so whatever direction it moves, it is much more important to know that this box is, actually is a no trade zone. But if it, uh, but if you took the short right here, congratulations, okay? You should have put your stop loss right here at break even now. But if you didn't, uh, you take the short right here, it's okay as well. You put a stop loss right over here because this is an impulse. Okay, so and then this is an ABC. I'm expecting a leg down. Now, things could get a little bit complicated because it could do something like this. Like seriously, market always do it, but but you know, sometimes it doesn't play out, but we have we kind of like have to be prepared. And it can go like really complicated like something like this. Yeah. It's like a It's kind of like um some kind of um flat maybe with a B complex within the B complex yeah it sounds so ridiculous <laughs> it's like a B complex we need we need we need um, some kind of a leg between this one here and then this one here and then you know do something like this okay uh oh let me do that again this equalizer for this one here and this one here before we going up okay so th this is the equalizer because this is an impulsive then we're expecting for this one to you know go down here maybe okay that's why i took the short because i believe that we should go down but you know it could change and become uh, like a b complex within a b complex and then go back up Right, if it goes back up and with the proper divergence, I believe we could take it down again. Okay, we could short this one again. But if it comes down here, right, we're going to hold it on stop loss position. But if it comes back up here, right, we're going to take the short again and bring it down right here. And this could be a B complex. This is a B complex within a B complex. Okay, the whole structure is going to look like this right uh, you might think oh, is it even possible why not why not okay um, it always happened people get screwed up right here so I want you all to be really careful when you're actually looking at this um, think about it before you trade and have your stop loss ready yeah and this is the B complex okay okay that is the first one okay so the second one is actually um, I'm thinking that, you know, the whole structure here could be a huge triangle just as, you know, for the, you know, for the B wave. Um, and it's, it, it, it kind of like keep looking like an ascending triangle. You see that? So a uh, market can actually go like sideways like this before actually breaking out and do some kind of a WXY. Yeah. WXY like that. So we're going to be careful about this one here. The thing about triangle, it's really confusing. But everybody's going to look for this one here. Look for this ascending triangle. Yeah, everybody's going to look at that. So how do we even trade this? Easy. We just wait for the breakout at this level, right? And then we just wait for the breakout, retest, and then we're going to take the long right here. And then we're going to put a stop loss right around here. It's not going to be far away. So there's opportunity for here to trade as well if you want to. Okay. And, you know, um, 
of course, if you're trading that and, um, you know, it could be a huge um, gain, right? Let me see, let me measure. Somewhere around here, that is a good ratio. Why not? Okay, if you all want to trade the market, yeah, you could do it. Could we go to 716 or 618? It doesn't matter. 618 is a good ratio. 786 is good as well. Yeah, so if you want to take this trade, it could be a possibility as well. Um, if it breaks out like that. Okay, so, but if it, if it's not going upside, uh, it's not a corrective. And it, I mean, it could be, this could be really a triangle. Let's say if it's really a triangle, right? And markets look judging by this market i think it's gonna go like sideways a few more times before actually break down and the same thing goes with this trade um you could take the trade right here where it retests and put a stop loss right here and the target for this one is gonna be somewhere around here somewhere around here so this is a good ratio as well if you want to short this one. Just don't go over leverage because it's not the best as well. But, you know, in case it makes a sharp drop, I don't know. It could make a sharp drop like this and everybody's going to be f screwed and wrecked, <laughs> right? So this is a good sh uh, ratio. So we just have to wait for this triangle to reach break out. Break down or break out, uh, break out, retest, and then we're gonna short it. Okay, so there's no point of actually taking any trades at the moment. But the only trade that I actually uh, put out was actually this one here. I'm hoping that it could do some kind of simple B complex right here, not the complicated one, but just a simple one like A B C and then up, and then you know finish it up with you know another drop here. Okay, so. We'll just have to see what's what's going on here right now, and I think that's about it. I just don't want to get more details because it will be very confusing if you don't know anything about Elliott Wave. And I, I think that uh, I cover pretty much uh, of the uh, micro view, and you know, um, you know, just see what happens. Um, am I expecting a fifth wave? Of course, uh, which is which is this one here. If this is triangle, then we're expecting a fifth wave. Even even so, this could be a, like a one, two, three, four, five, going down to this target here. Okay, this both target here. If it's a wave five, and we will be shorting this one. We we've already in a position, and we're just we're already in the position right here from here. So this is a good ratio for entry. I've already entry. Uh, I've already put out a single. I, I didn't short because um, I, do, I don't do short, okay, uh, because I'm an investor, I always buy Bitcoin anyway. So anyone wants to short that, this is a good uh, risk reward. And you know, it could go bounce at here, it could bounce here, it could bounce here. Whatever it is, it is a good ratio right now if you want to get an entry. But if it hits, it's okay, we'll take, we'll take another day uh, to trade the market. But, Today, this looks very convincing. Okay, guys, um, I think that's about it. And make sure, again, reminding you guys, don't always look at the chart. It's not going anywhere. If it's meant to be for you to trade, trade it. If it doesn't, wait for another next opportunity. Okay, guys, and um, have a nice day and ciao.